Okay, so something that I've been more or less not doing on YouTube over the course of the last year or so are basic Game Maker tutorials. I occasionally put up things that are complicated things like uh, NPCs and dialogue or uh, the rules of chess, the logic behind the chess, the game of life, all that fun stuff. And somewhat more recently, I have ended up getting myself stuck into, I mean, um, I have volunteered myself to basically teach people about Game Maker and stuff. Um, this is on another uh, internet forum. Reserti has unfortunately gone down, and uh, I think uh, my friend who kind of hosts that has moved on in life, but <clears throat> um, away from the YouTube scene. Anyway, so uh, I'll go through these things real quick. I made a text thread about this earlier that kind of went through it. Um, you have Game Maker. Uh, I'm assuming that you are able to get this far on your own because it's really not that complicated. Uh, once again, they have a couple versions. They have 8.1, they have uh, Studio. I'm using 8.1. Uh, Studio is the currently supported version, although you can still get 8.1 if you want to. And I actually recommend you do that because there are uh, a few things that I like better about that version than this about this version than uh, Studio. Um, anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, either version, anything that I'm doing here, unless I say otherwise, will work. Uh, and Yay, it's one in the morning and people are screaming outside. Also, there are a couple differences between the free and standard versions, and once again, unless I say otherwise, unless I'm doing something rather specific, complicated uh, code sort of thing, then everything that I do will be uh, usable in the free version. So, you have sprites. This is what goes on in the game. This is what you see. Um, you have a bunch of properties when you open it up. You have collision mass. Don't worry about that right now. Origin <clears throat> sounds. I think you know what that is. Backgrounds, those are uh, other graphics that aren't directly influencing the game, like, well, backgrounds and tiles and stuff, uh, as opposed to sprites, which are things that uh, basically change as the game is running. Backgrounds are pretty much stay the same constantly. Uh, paths, that's more complicated. If you want something to move in a set path, you can go create a path, and uh, you basically have, I'm going to just do a short example here. Uh, you can add yourself a point. This is pretty much just uh, vector graphics. Uh, you move from point A to point B to point C to point D to point E to point F. You w I won't get into that. Uh, that's more complicated. Scripts, that's code. That's probably where the majority of uh, I'm going to be focusing. It's going to be fonts. That's in case you want to do something that isn't 12 point Arial. Um, say, I don't know, I'm just going to pick a random font here. What does that look like? All right, that's boring. Uh, say you wanted to use something like this or this in your game instead of Arial. Uh, you could use a font. <clears throat> Timelines, if you want, say, uh, some things to happen in a very specific order. Normally your code would up, would uh, execute sequentially, like one statement, then another statement, then, then immediately, and then uh, there wouldn't be any break in between. But sometimes you want to space that out a little and you can use timelines for that. Objects, obviously, this is uh, pretty much the everything that runs inside the game itself. Uh, you have objects, object-oriented programming, you have data, you have ways to mess with the data with the events and stuff like that. Um, technically, Game Maker isn't truly object-oriented, but that's more uh, hardcore computer science that I'll be getting into later. And lastly, you have the rooms, and this is basically the stage where everything runs on. Um, as it is now, I have this little thing, I have a green dot, and it just shows you a very uh, mature-looking pop-up when you click on it. It doesn't do anything, you don't move it around with your arrow keys or anything crazy like that. It doesn't shoot space bullets or whatever you do in your crazy video games these days. Um, so I'll be starting from there. I can uh, I can probably get rid of let's see, shift delete get rid of something. I can probably get rid of a couple of these things I don't need or just crowding resource space. So I'll be in player object. Uh, there is this very simple event, the left mouse event when you click on it with your left mouse button. Um, and it just shows a message, and it says whatever string you want in there. Uh, in my case, banana, because I can't take anything seriously. Okay, so where to go next from that? I'm going to do a quick uh, save as, as lesson two, just to get myself organized. <clears throat> and um, I'm going to assume most people want to know how to move around and stuff. So I don't know um, the people that asked me to make this started. I don't know how much 
you've been messing around with uh, Game Maker on your own, or uh, if you've been able to figure out how to move around or anything yet, uh, believe it or not, uh, reading the manual that you get when you click this little button over here is actually quite useful. Um, there's a reference basically of everything that you can do, every function in the game. Uh, it'll be in there. There's a couple weird typos that I've noticed. Uh, some of them are more significant than others, but overall, uh, the manual, this is actually the only program who I found has a manual that's worth reading. Um, anyway, what did I do? I am uh, I'm going to be adding another event, and I'm going to be adding the step event. And in that step event, someone is banging on the window, and I really wish you wouldn't do that. Thanks. Yeah, there's probably alcohol involved there. But anyway, um, I am going to actually try and increase this text size a little bit. Where's the F7? F8? F7 or F8? There we go. Stupid function keys. But hopefully you'll be able to see that a little there. Now I'm going to type a little bit of code here, and it's going to say this. So, what does this cryptic set of characters and code and stuff do? Well, this is basically a function. Um, I probably mentioned this earlier, but uh, functions can uh, do things in the case of show message, or they can return values. In this case, it'll be a true or false. And keyboard check will be returning true if the specified key is true. Uh, VK write, that stands for virtual keyboard, um, as the keyboard is basically, uh, I didn't mean to do that, is basically uh, called in programming oftentimes. Um, then if this evaluates true, then this will happen, and otherwise it just won't happen. That's uh, <clears throat> It's pretty simple. Um, I believe if you have messed around with the redstone in Minecraft, it's the same principle. Uh, you have these conditions, and you can say merge conditions, and you have all your uh, ands and your ors and your uh, exclusive ors and all that other fun stuff that I'll be getting into later probably. But the point is, if you, uh, if you press right on the keyboard, then x will plus equal 4. And this is basically saying, well, I guess I could write it neater, but x equals x plus 4. And that is saying uh, this object's x position on the uh, on the screen with the top in the, in computers is the top left is 0, 0, and the bottom right is uh, x, y, positive x, y, and everything else in between. So x plus equals 4, just in the habit of writing that, and you probably want to get in the habit of writing like that too, because it does uh, save quite a bit of typing if you decide to uh, do a lot with this program. Okay, and same over here is uh, if you hit left, then you're going to subtract 4 from x, and I'll just show what that does real quickly here, and I'm going to run the game. I hit, I hit uh, left, I'm moving this way, I hit right, and I'm moving this way. That's all fun. Up and down doesn't work, don't, doesn't well, nothing happens if you up and down yet. Um, those are similar, except unlike in math class, because of the way computers are uh, were engineered way back in the day, up is actually the negative y direction. So if you move up, you'll be decreasing your y position, and down is the positive y. Uh, and that stems from... If, I, uh, if I'm informed correctly, that stems from the fact that we read top left to uh, bottom right. And uh, anyway, this does what it's supposed to. Uh, that's very simple. It moves around, and yeah, that's that. So I guess, I, you know, first thing I should do, it doesn't show up on the screen very well, and so I'm going to make this blue, dark blue instead of a... No, 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 instead of green, so hopefully... I believe to see what's going on better. Yeah, that's better. All right. So I think I'm going to make that it here. Um, all that's going to be going on here. I will have these this file that I'm working with as a download in the description of this video if you want to take that and do stuff with it. See what other stuff does, other functions, other keyboard-related functions. <clears throat> um, you can mess around with other keys. So uh, if you wanted to use WASD instead of saying VK write, you would actually be, uh, that's a little more complicated. You have to use this function and grab the uh, the key that way. But I don't want to confuse people like that yet. I'll probably get more into that later. So I'm just going to leave it as a virtual keyboard, right, and uh, directionals and stuff. 
Yeah, to the people watching this, I have a general idea of where I'm going to be going with this line of videos, um, how I'm going to progress through this. If you have anything specific that you'd like me to deal with first, uh, I will take that into consideration for future videos, but for now, I hope you all enjoy that, and um, yeah, have fun programming.